Hi, it's Eddie again on this beautiful car. And I've just done the tracking. I've just set the tracking in the front. It was way out. What the car needs, it needs the camber adjusting and it needs four new tyres and the rear suspension doing. But that's for another time. So the car will be slightly easier to drive now. And when I take the wheels off and start doing other jobs, I'll do another one to add on to this one. But it's such a lovely stylish car. Hope you're enjoying watching and looking at the car as opposed to me. Bye now. Hello again, it's Eddie at Alpha Man working on this lovely old 1964 Juliet Sprint Special 1600 in red. Come and have a look over here. I'm doing the brakes. I've taken both front calipers off and they were both seized up. So this is part of a caliper that I've sandblasted. I'm getting new pistons, these are totally corroded and past their sell by day. I have done one caliper because I wanted to show you folks the other one. And if you look in here, you can see all the corrosion, all the garbage, all the crud uh, that's been sitting in these calipers for the best part of 60 years and this is the remains of the dust seals those are the remains of the caliper seal uh, the piston seals and I've got new seal kits here And I've got new pistons coming, and I shall make those pistons, those calipers, work like new. I've got new flexi pipes, and I've got new brake bleeders as well, and I'm going to have to make up some link pipes. So that's that. The other thing that I've done is I've changed the brake master cylinder that was leaking, and I'll just show you where it's situated. It's situated just here. Come around and have a look. There's the old, that's the new one installed and ready to work pretty soon once I've assembled the rest of the stuff up. The customer supplied me with two new discs and he's supplied me with a set of brake pads for the front. On the rears, they were all fine. All I did was adjust the rear shoes up and now the handbrake works properly. The other thing I've done on the car is I've done the tracking. And you adjust the tracking on this car with these rods here. And I've set it up with my wonderful tracking machine here. With my quick track. Of course, this machine made in Italy. And it even does a 1964 car as well as the latest alphas that we do here as well. So, I'm having a fun time working on this car. I hope you're also having a fun time out there. And thank you very much to all the people who have subscribed to my channel. I hope I haven't bored you too much. Keep well. Hello again. Working on this car. 
And if you come over here, I'll show you what we've done. These are the front calipers. We've sandblasted, cleaned, done the same here, painted them silver. Got new rubber kits and got new pistons because these old pistons are totally and utterly past their sell by date and they're 60 odd years old. So I will be painting them again soon, letting it dry nicely, paint them again, put the rubbers in, and then what I'll be doing is bolting them up, putting them on the car, and getting the brakes to work again. See you later. Bye now. Hello, it's Eddie at Alpha Man again, back with this lovely, beautiful car. Come over here and I'll show you the progress that I've made on the brakes. I've assembled the caliper up, bolted it on, put the brackets on, put the new flexi pipes on, on the, on the rear as well as two on the front. New discs, the wheel bearings were really good. New pads, new kits in there. I've said to you that we primed the caliper bodies, we painted the caliper bodies. It's all assembled up beautifully now. Over here are the old flexi pipes. And the old bleed nipples. And the old metal pipes that take the fluid from one side of the caliper to the other and the link pipe. So what I've done is I've made them all out of copper. I've shaped them to these shapes. That's two on the other side that I've got to do. As you can see, they're on. If you come round the corner here and you look inside here, you'll see what I've done there. And all I've got to do now is to assemble these up, bend them nicely, bleed the system, and then put the wheels on. And then I should be done, given a nice little road test. Hope you're all well out there. Thank you very much for watching my uh, channel. And uh, somebody asked me why I wear this hat. Well, the reason is it's a little crash helmet because I keep on banging my head on the underside of cars and I'm getting very, very fed up with it. So I bought this and it saved a few headaches. I hope you out there don't get any headaches. Keep well. Hello again, it's Eddie at Alpha Man. Finished the car, but I made a silly mistake while I was doing the brakes and making the pipes and overhauling the calipers and putting the bigger brake master cylinder on. I forgot to look into the brake reservoir that was full of rust. So what I had to do was stop bleeding the brake system take this out, sandblast the inside, sandblast the outside, paint it and stick it back and then bleed it. It's a, it's a quite a silly mistake. So if you're doing one of these cars, make sure you go into the brake reservoir and you make sure it's nice and clean. Anyway, the car's got wonderful brakes now. 
better steering, the engine working much better, more reliable, and it's such a lovely, lovely beast. I love it. Anyway, I hope you all keep well, and until the next time. Thank you.